I'm, I really, you know, would, would just watch, you know, your, what you put on YouTube and things like that. But I'm really to a point now with my life where I feel like, you know, talking to you in a, in a real live situation is, and maybe whatever you can read, whatever you, whatever, um, you know, higher power that, you, that, you know, God that, or whatever, you know, that you can read uh, at least more clear. And, you know, and I know you're a person as well, and I just want to learn from you or whatever you can you can give me or provide to me as far as, you know, words or, you know, your aspect of clairvoyance that can help me through some of the situations that I've been experiencing. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for agreeing to just approach it and when I say approach it, I mean just approaching the work that it takes for you to get out of the spiritual attack um, and the warfare that you're feeling. So I'm going to ask you to have permission to just record this just for um, possible teaching purposes so that other people are aware. Is that okay? Yeah, that, yeah that, that's all right. Okay, well, thank you for that. So, just to just to make sure that I understand, the how old are you? I will be 31 next month. Okay, so you recently uh, admitted yourself in to just get some psychiatric help, some mental help, uh, because you know this is not something that you can do on your own, and you have seen the manifestation of um, what seems to be spiritual in um, just constant, constant attacking energy that is really... I... I want to make note that with you being 31, first of all, we know that you've been feeling this attack for several years. But when it first began at, you know, right at the, the right at the point of when you're on the, ops, when you're on the, uh, the, the ride, the roller coaster ride, and you're right up at that part where you're you can survey the whole surroundings and you don't have an option of to go back you know that you're about to go over that cliff and it's out of your hands so you can either put your hands up or you can bow down and try to brace yourself but you don't have too much of leeway or anything. You have to really go with the flow. So that was around 27. All that time of you being on this roller coaster ride, it has been life teaching you what to leave, what to go, how to feed your energy in what area of life and who to leave and what parts of yourself you're going to have to leave behind so when you pick that apart you're going to see parts of yourself that you completely don't want to see you're going to feel energy on such a hypersensitive level and you're going to see things that are that look demonic you're gonna see things that look beautiful and divine and you're going to see it not only within yourself but you're gonna see it within other people so when we first talked you said you'd begun to see uh, the separation between you and other people 
and that's difficult. So let's start with uh, what you're seeing when you wake up in the middle of the night or when you find it difficult to go to sleep. What are you feeling? I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling at the base, at the core of it, it's just confusion in regards to how this, my spiritual world is connecting to my physical world. And I, I, I understand, like, giving people grace and tolerance and love um, outside of myself and, and really I'm trying to understand that for myself as well but I feel when I wake up in the night sometimes I feel unprepared I feel vulnerable and I feel like I need to understand what actions I need to take to make myself feel more prepared, more, uh, and I, 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 mean, I guess more, just more prepared, just more ready for what, for what is, is, is going on or what will go on. Um, I'm, you know, I, I just, that's, that's basically, that's basically what I feel, and honestly, I, it's a level of fear, and I don't, like, I guess, maybe fear is fine for me to feel that, but I have to find a way to deal with it, so I can operate in my relationships, I can operate in my life, like, you know, my, it's my life, like, I feel like everything that's happening with me, it's, a, it's slowing, it's stopping my, my, I guess, my progress in my natural way of things, and I guess that's maybe normal, or that's maybe good, because it's changing me, but I just want to find some level of homeostasis that I can find in my mind. And I don't think I found that yet. Okay. That makes perfect sense. And I completely understand. You're absolutely right. Finding a balance between your human self and your spiritual self is key. You are definitely under spiritual warfare. But here's the highlight. Here's or here is the anchor is that it was expected. And it's expected right now because you are in your Saturn return from 27 to 31 and you're leaving it. You're going to feel it for another two, three years. However, the harshest part is over. So knowing that you've got this anchor of, okay, I know that once I become best friends with my human, there's going to be this structure within myself that I can fall back on that will help you understand this is how we're going to handle the fear from now on. So being vulnerable is absolutely what you want to do and in order to be vulnerable you want to submit to the will of God. It has absolutely nothing to do with you submitting to the fear because that's what's going on already. So we know that we have to direct our human 
And in order for us to direct our human, because our human is all 100% fear-based energy, we must know who our human is, right? I never looked at it like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm listening to that. Tell me what was so profound about it. That my that my human is a hundred percent fear based energy, but I never like I, I sometimes I feel like I, I can channel positive energy, but I get I understand what you're saying. Like we are flesh and bone. We're you know, we we are material. Everything outside of my body and, and I guess brain, I guess, <laughs> it, it may be something else that I can deal with, but my body is going to respond to fear. My body is going to respond to, to that lower level energy because that's what my body is. So I think that's why that's why I think that you that what you were saying as, as far as that's what resonated with me, that's what was profound. I didn't I didn't ever I never thought of it like that. You know, I never thought of it just like just looking at it like, you know, that my body is gonna it is that energy kinda like manifesting kind of. Mm-hmm. And so let's let's take it even Let's take it right there because that was your human responding to something that he can identify with and you just acknowledge that being the basis of what he needs. So you're the soul within your human. We all are. And you understand as the soul within your human that what's happening is spiritual and the barrier to resolution that you want so deeply is human fear based energy that you can control but you have to control it spiritually and you have to do it respectfully so we have to know, okay, first of all, who are we working with? Well, the first energy we're working with is, yes, we are, um, in, we are enveloped, we are housed in this low, vibra this low vibrational energy, but not all the time. And so we have to make sure we speak so highly of our human and we don't, we don't end up throwing him under the bus. So the first thing you want to do is, now that you've acknowledged, he's scared. And he doesn't know what to do. And you're helping him. I want you to just tell him, I love you. Just go ahead and say it. Just say, I love you. I love you. And I've got your back. And I got your back. We're going to get through this together. We're going to get through this together. Now that he's heard you say something that he hasn't heard you say before, that shifts his concept of, well, I know what I'm experiencing is something I don't control, but now I hear that it's possible for me to get through this. I may not totally believe it, but I but I hear something that I haven't heard before. And now we've got to find out what your human's name is. Because you can't just be going around not knowing his name and you know everybody else's name. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. All right. So... Let me just share with you and then I want to ask you to really discover what your human's name is. My name is uh, Nicole. That's my middle name. 
when I grew when I was young, I heard Nicole, Nikki, Coco, um, all first five years of my life. I introduced myself as Nicole if I ever had to, you know, neighborhood uh, best friend and all of that. They called me Nikki, Nicole, mom, you know, home, everything. When I went to kindergarten, I heard my mom saying, uh, you know, don't you hear Miss Merkel talking to you? And I could hear Miss Merkel saying, Jennifer, but I was looking around to see who she was talking to. And, uh, she was looking at me and that scared me because I knew I I never heard that and I so I clutched to my mother's leg and I was just like that's not me who is she talking to who is she talking about so that's the first time that I ever heard my first name being called and uh, every time you know that she would call Jennifer 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 I was gone I was already having out-of-body experiences I was already playing with my angels, so she had to literally come over to me and put her hands on my shoulders very gently and remind me that my name was Jennifer and that I needed to meet the rest of the kids over on the carpet. <laughs> and so uh, I knew to introduce myself as Jennifer to, to my job, to my uh school to everyone that I didn't feel a spiritual connection to and that I knew I needed to protect Nicole from. So Jennifer is my human and Jennifer faced the front line of life. Jennifer dealt with the current circumstances of every cycle of life. Jennifer dealt with the attacks that are physical, the low vibrations coming from other people. Jennifer dealt with the responsibilities, the obligations of life, and I allowed her to make the mistakes. I didn't have her back, and she trusted society. She trusted history. She trusted um, the fear that she felt, and she made decisions based on the fear. And uh, I always knew how to hear from God. I knew my spiritual gifts. I knew that I was in communication with our ancestors, my angels, but I didn't have her back. When I did have her back, I started reacquainting myself with her and I had to earn her trust. And she would tell me, you know, you never had my back. Why should I trust you now? People think we're crazy. They don't want to hear all that spiritual stuff. I don't control it. I don't know it. It doesn't, it's not something that I can, I can handle. And I don't know that I should trust you or it. And I had to really just earn that in the same type of way that you have to earn it with other people. We often hear that. You have to earn respect. You have to earn trust. Well, your human is definitely going to need to earn your trust and you're going to have to work at it. So you have to be able to say, okay, what is your name? You know, I'm so-and-so, what's your name? So that's how I came to know my human's name. A con uh, one of my private uh, coaching clients was uh, working in uh, a male correctional facility and uh, when she went past a certain line at the job, whether it was, you know, uh, a certain spot walking from the car to the door, uh, it was Sergeant so-and-so, Sergeant Johnson, for example. And uh, let's say her first name was Christy. And so she, I asked her to reacquaint herself with her human and one day she called me and said, oh my gosh, I know what my human's name is. Because it wasn't the same as mine, first name and middle name. She said, when I get to go back to my car, I get to a certain point, and I tell myself by first name, we're safe. We did good today. We made it 
to our car, we can let everything else go. She is no longer Sergeant Johnson. She's able to just relax and breathe. So her human who is protecting her is Sergeant Johnson. And she is Christy. Okay, so take a minute and let's just start there. What is your human's name? Ask him, what is his name? What did you hear? I heard my first name. Mm hmm Thailand. Mm hmm Okay. Thailand. But you didn't hear Thai. And you introduced yourself to me as Thai. So you introduced yourself to me as the soul within your human because we connect on a spiritual level. And Thailand gave you the opportunity for us to connect. I need you to thank Thailand. Thank you, Thailand, for giving us the opportunity to connect. Thailand, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Honey, I'm thankful. I promise you that I'll take good care of Thai. And I promise you that I will help him and you get through this. It is psychic attack. It is spiritual warfare. But it is expected. And it is something that you've got to go through in order to get to be that successful Thailand that you want to be. And I know that your main job is to protect Thai. And I'm going to help him understand that. And so what you're experiencing right now is on a spiritual level, but you're feeling it on a manifested, metaphysical manifestation that's coming out in fear-based energy because that's what you know. That's how you were created. You're not at fault. You're actually doing everything you should be doing. And I'm so proud of you. I'm going to teach Ty also how to be proud of you and how to show his pride towards you and appreciation towards you because you do so much. And we know that you you feel it. You feel the fire every day. You feel the energy coming from people. And we're going to teach Ty how to teach you not to absorb it. And uh, when you do absorb a little bit of it, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of it and release it. And um, and I just thank you. Thank you so much for allowing Ty to know who you are and for letting Ty make it here today and, and actually dialing the number. I'm very thankful because I know you're on board. So uh, when he admitted you in to the hospital, that was the first step of him getting you help. And thank you so much for allowing that to happen and listening to his direction because that just showed how vulnerable you really are. One of the first things you said to me was, uh, you know, I need to be vulnerable. You were already being vulnerable and so I'm so proud of you for doing it. Yes, you do need to be vulnerable and yes, you are already doing it. That took a lot of courage. It took a lot of willingness to submit um, to admit yourself in and to get the mental health and to just check that off and say okay well I did this now what now what do I do that was excellent so um, Ty go ahead and just celebrate Thailand for a minute that was I mean that's that's excellent really good
So now that we know Thailand is scared to life in the middle of the night, that's usually when things get really super real. And uh, whether someone's there or not, Thailand was taught to fear the dark. Well, Thailand, you are a part of that darkness. And so the darkness is not all bad. You aren't bad at all. You're doing things right. And now you've got an internal compass named Ty that woke up and finally sees that you've been trying to protect him your whole life. So we're not putting you at fault at all. Not at all. We're celebrating you. We're proud of you. And you, we, we're going to want to reward you for each step that you allow Ty to go through and for you two to become best friends again. So we call this a part of your Saturn return. And what that means is there is energy that is just forcing your hand in certain uh, decisions you make. And it comes to you as an attack. And so you feel it very deeply. And you question why people are acting the way they're acting and why you're seeing things that you're seeing and why you're hearing messages and why you're feeling like you've got to let go of certain people and why you're feeling like you just can't get what you want from certain people and from certain things and you've got to be pulled into certain areas and why is it a constant struggle and all of this and it simply is because our creator is allowing the universe to conspire on on your behalf to bless you but also needs to know that you appreciate it that you're going to be able to say I did that I did that and no one can take it away from you so in order for you to get to that point of I did that this is my strong accomplishment and to know that this is the direction that I'm going in this is my purpose this is my calling this is the type of person that I deserve to be with for the rest of my life. These are the type of people that I deserve to be around. This is my resiliency. This is my strength. You know, and this is the this is the power that I've been able to really uh see and call on up to this point. Cuz you've got so much untapped, unlimited potential. So it's going to be a struggle. It has been a struggle. But like I said earlier, Thailand and Thai, the worst part or the most, the most difficult part is behind you. Now, the vulnerability in the middle of the night is within Thailand's grasp and within yours, Thai. But Ty, what you're going to start doing is telling Thailand he's okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. And as you're saying we're okay, you're going to take a huge deep breath in. Why do we do that? We do that because in the moment of that fight or flight reaction that our human feels, we need to shake that energy. We need to break what his history, his pattern has been. We just need a pattern interrupt. So in that moment, okay, we're scared. He's telling you he's scared. He's, he's frozen. And we need to take a deep breath in. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. All of that that he's showing you, he's going to be projecting what... He's seeing with his eyes open, he's going to wake up out of a nightmare. He's going to wake up out of a deep sleep. He's going to not be able to go to sleep. He's going to start getting the wind down. He's going to be thinking about all these negative things. There's going to be a phone call, a text message. 
there's going to be something that upsets him and scares him and puts him into that whole mind that mindset of I'm scared this is an attack I feel it coming and at that moment he's telling you I need help so at that moment whatever you're doing brushing your teeth on the phone whatever it is you've got to be able to say we're fine it's okay we're fine take a deep breath in and you've got to challenge him so when you hear me say challenge your human that's challenging your human so let's just try it out real quick you're going to be telling him Tyler, it's okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. You can say it inside of you. You can say it outside of you. I say it both ways. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. And I'm breathing in very deeply. Deep, 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 deep. I mean, deeper than you have ever breathed in before. Because at that moment, Tylen can't focus on anything else but survival to breathe. And so you're in, you're just inhaling the breath of life inside of him so he can't focus on fear in that moment all he can focus on is survival and the next thing he needs to do to survive is just exhaling does that make sense so far yeah i'm I truly apologize i have just like work with market managers just called and one second I'm, it's not like a, i was trying to pay attention that's okay yeah, the world just from you you right, that's okay. We're not gonna. It's like, okay. We're not gonna give it no attention. Don't feed it. You don't even have to define it. We know it's there. We acknowledge it. We deal with it. So, what do you need to do? I just what I did is I I, I just want to call my manager back on the line. Just go ahead. All right, all right. Okay. 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 And so while he's on, I have him on mute now. When you are dealing with psychic attacks, spiritual warfare, when you're dealing with your Saturn return, you are um, going to want, your human wants to feed that fear-based energy. Your, your human wants to complain. Your human wants to um, battle back with that low vibrational energy. Oh, my boss called, my manager, I don't want to talk to him anyway. You know, it just seems like the world is conspiring against me. It just nothing's working out. You don't allow your human that because that's the easy way. When you're in your Saturn return, when you're in psychic attack, spiritual warfare, your human does not get to choose how you're going to get out of it because it, it, it's a vicious cycle that takes you back and lets you stay stuck. Keeps the energy that's low, feeds it into this huge monster that overpowers your human and you end up having a very unhappy cycle of life or life period. We don't want that. We want you to prosper. We want you to know your unlimited, untapped potential. We want you to know your resiliency. We want you to know your strength. And we definitely want you to be able to feed faith and starve that fear-based energy and connect closer with your spiritual team, your ancestors, your spiritual guides, the messengers of God, the manifestations of God, and certainly divine source. Okay, we want you to use the universal energies to your benefit, okay, not to your detriment. And when we allow our human to decide, that's when the mistakes happen, okay? So, what he needs to do is face that fear head on which is what he's doing. Now, um, we deal with the circumstances. All right, let's deal with it. Our human says, this is what's upsetting us. We don't ignore that any more than we ignore it in a meditation. For example, when you meditate, the one thing you can't do is stop the thoughts that are going to come in. So embrace that. You might want to just be all kumbaya during your meditation and, and just happy thoughts. It takes practice. And even I, at this point of meditating my whole life, um, and when I say my whole life, I woke up as a, a baby girl um, with meditation floppy records um, 
and uh, and even eight tracks and uh, that were all meditation from my mother so those thoughts that are low vibrational energy are not yours to own but they are all in the ethers they are in the wavelength they are in the air and you're gonna pick up on those but when you do pick up on the stressors of life the obligations the responsibilities what are you doing we can't meditate now we've got to get to work what are you doing the baby's crying what are you doing we got work to do and all of that you need to tell those stressors I see you you're right but this is my time right now that's it you tell your human, your human is right. There's no argument there. That's all your human wants to be validated. Validate her. Validate him. And then he's more apt to help you. So Ty and Thailand are working together. Thailand said, oh man, I can't focus on what she's saying. We can't, you gotta, we gotta respond to the boss. We, the manager's calling us, we gotta check it out. And then Ty is like, well, I wanna hear what she's saying. Just let me listen. Hello? Uh-huh. I, I appreciate that. Um, it was, it was my manager and I kinda have to let him know. Like he knew, he knew that I got hospitalized and all that stuff. But that was really kind of the first time I really had a conversation with him. Kind of like, you know, what I'm, what I've been experiencing on both sides of things, right? So, I just kind of let him know, like, hey, I've, I've been in a, because he, cause he was looking for a reply to email that I was taking some time to reply back to one of the, one of somebody I was working for. Like, I work for Microsoft, and I work in a highly technical uh, field, as a premier field engineer. So I work with like, like Fortune 500 customers, and you know, we have account managers for these customers. And you got to be uh, proactive in working with these people. So and I was, I've kind of been slipping up lately since it's my mind. And but I appreciate you uh, waiting. And I was list. I I wanted. I wanted if you could, if you could kind of go back to what you were saying. I, you were talking about it, but it, I started looking at the email. So last thing I, I truly remember is that you said that I have to really, really, the last thing I really focused on, had all my focus on, was you saying to me that this experience is basically my you know, my, um, my, well, or Thailand is having, or Thai is having this experience, um, because that's who he is, and, and I, then I thanked him for, you know, I was giving thanks to Thailand, you know, my spiritual self, for allowing all of this, and then, I, I honestly, after that, I kind of got, I looked at an email and I saw some instant messages coming and I started started burning my attention. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's important to realize that what's important to your human. That's super important. So what's important to your human is doing good in the job and being responsible and taking care of those obligations. And what's important to you as the soul within your human is being spiritually fed, learning how to handle the spiritual alchemy, what your human can't handle, and finding that homeostasis. Right? And so um, we just want to help Thailand get to that point of I can deal with my Fortune 5 accounts. I can stay on top of my game. I have a high, highly stressful, intense job, and I need to be at peace in my workspace, and I need to be okay with that. And so, okay, so when the attacks are happening in the middle of the night, 
and at the job all over the place because undoubtedly you're feeling the energies from your uh, co-workers and from your vendors from um, and from uh, your clients and everyone else that you need to be in connection with manager you're feeling all of that energy Thailand's feeling the energy but he's feeling the manifested result of that metaphysical reaction to the spiritual energy okay so it's gonna manifest in um, uh, muscle spasms headaches migraines uh, stomach upset you know uh, sweats all of that tight muscles gonna you know you can get sick to your stomach all the whole thing um, so we have to make sure he knows how to deal with that fear-based energy and so we just wanna when it's happening tell him it's okay he's okay and then you'll start being able to say we're okay you can start off with that whatever comes to you to say but make sure that you're saying we're okay we're okay he's okay you we're okay we're okay you're okay you're okay because you're the soul within him and Thailand's job is to make sure that you that he keeps his job and that he's handling the responsibilities of life which are the stressors but now what's happening is now he knows he has the the best ally his ally is awoke you have awakened and he knows that now does he trust you all the way no he can't, you know and he shouldn't overnight he's you have to prove to him that even though you're the soul within him that you've got his back so now he is like okay well I hear you talking but now you're gonna start practically showing him so I teach very practical spiritual guidance so that you can apply it in your life very quickly and get instant results so what you want to start doing is taking a huge deep breath in whenever Thailand is feeling that metaphysical stress heart palpitations anything like that sweating sweaty palms just the energy is rising up within him he can't do anything about it he knows this is spiritual not his arena so that's very scary for him the images that he's seeing you're living it but he can't stop seeing it because it's not coming from him it's coming from the spirit realm and that's where you live in as the soul within him so when he starts reacting to the stuff that you're already seeing you're experiencing it you don't find it as abnormal he does the second you feel it as fear that's Thailand that's your human responding to you and telling you I need help so in that moment you wanna say okay we're okay we're okay we're okay you're okay you're okay you're okay and you take this huge deep breath in because what happens is it instantly shifts his focus from being all on fear of the unknown and the known of what's happening in that moment because he knows he's not crazy it's happening but what can he do about it that's when you have to jump in okay we're okay we're okay we're okay take that deep breath in deep 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 and you challenge your human by taking the deepest breath in because it shifts his his brain to focus on survival you he goes from fear-based focused energy to survival mode in that minute of okay I can't breathe any deeper now I've got to be in survival mode instantly it's just a switch that happens in our human and then you exhale completely forcibly I mean exhaust your human all the way out and then immediately take another deep breath in in that instant he is not scared he is not afraid in that moment he's focused on him and that's self-love you with me so far yeah 
Okay, and so that's what he needs to feel constantly. He needs to know that you've got his back and that he does not have to know all the answers because he's been constantly trying to figure it out and he can't. It was never something for him to figure out. It was always something for you, the soul within him, to take on. That's not his responsibility. And so you get to tell him in that moment of challenging him to take that deep breath in, I got you. I got you. Let me do my job now. You don't have to do this. Taking this off your shoulders. And so on that exhale, he's able to say, it, I, what? Like I can let this down? I can take this off my shoulders? I can unload this? Do you mean I can let go, let God? And so that very practical technique, but once you know it, and why you're doing it, you're able to communicate that back to your human. And so let's try it right now. All right, so on the, um, when you hear the bell, you're going to take a beautiful deep breath in and you're going to challenge him and you're going to exhale completely. And then you're going to breathe in deeply the next moment. And you're going to be telling him all of that. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Good job, good job, good job. We're kissing our higher self. We're connecting with the divine. And you get to exhale and let go, let God. And I got you because I'm the soul within you. I'm connected to our creator. And I'm going to listen to my spiritual guidance. And then I'm going to direct you on what to do. Which is new for him. Okay, so ready? Take a deep breath in. Deep, 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 deep. Challenging your human. Come on now, challenge Thailand. Deep, 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 deep. And exhale. All the way out. Inhale. Deep, 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 deep. You're telling them, I got you, I got you. Good job, good job. We're okay, we're okay. Exhale, I got you. You don't have to know all the answers. You're okay. What happened? Well, I just repeated what you said. You don't have to know all the answers. It's okay. That's basically what I, what I said. And there is a level of balance in that moment. This is new, this is new. So I won't have to practice this, you know, um, but there is a level of understanding in that moment. You hugged your human. He got it. He's been craving that. And he deserves it. And you deserve each other. You are very, very strong. And you are connected to the divine through the universal code that I call spiritual guidance. And it is not for Thailand, your human, to understand. It is for him to acknowledge and to be okay with you directing him now going forward. And so when you acknowledge that feeling of balance, no matter how short, no matter how 
many times you know that you'll have to practice it. It was there and you acknowledged it within him and that took a lot of courage from him. A lot of vulnerability. And a lot of that is just the willingness to say, I don't have to know all the answers. I don't certainly know all about this, but I'm willing to learn and I'm willing to step forward, learning to trust you as the soul within me, because he's saying to you, all I've done in my life is protect you. I've only wanted to protect you. He knows that's his job because Tylan knows he's on a very limited path as a human being. You have a totally different concept of this thing we call life. And so your job now is to stay deeply connected to the divine, listen to your spiritual guidance so that you can direct Tylan and help him find that balance which is going to create an instant internal happiness. And it's going to allow him to let go of the people, the behaviors, the patterns, these circumstances, the situations, the connections that are toxic and that have outworn and out he's outgrown and welcome the healthy connections the healthy habits, the passion, purpose-driven pathways that have already been formed. You're going to help him clear away the brush that's in front of the paths that spirit wants you to go in. And it, the more that you do that, the more you practice, you're going to see those, the bushes and the obstacles be instantly removed from this new path that was always there. But now you're like, well, where'd that come from? But then you have this inner knowing, which is you, the soul within Thailand, that that path has always been there. Seems a little familiar for it not to have been there all this time. But why are you just seeing it? And that's how spiritual awakening works. So... I certainly want you to get uh, the book, uh, The Seven Steps to Master Any Spiritual Awakening. And I want you to, uh huh. What's it called again? Seven Steps to Master Any Spiritual Awakening. And uh, the easiest way to get it is on Amazon. All right. All right. I want you to to definitely give me a review because I look very forward to reading your review but I wrote the book to serve as a guide so that you have a go-to every time you need that homeostasis and you don't need to involve anyone else in that moment. It's going to happen in the wee hours of the night. You're going to need to uh, excuse yourself and go to the restroom at the job so that you can take that deep breath in. You're going to need to go down the flight of stairs to do it. You're going to need to do it in your circumstances that Tylen is in without you know, shoving him under the bus and making him feel even more uncomfortable uh, and and realizing, okay, I'm feeling this. How do I do this without involving everyone I'm around? I don't want them to know my business. So that book is going to give you the ways to do it constantly. And you've got the seven steps that you're going to be just bouncing back in. But if you use those steps, you're going to be mastering these spiritual experiences that you're going to have undoubtedly for the rest of your life. These are the same seven steps that I've used um, all my life 
And so I had to take time to really figure out what were the steps that I was taking all my life to get through and to get back into a, a homeostasis and peace uh, very quickly. And so those are those steps. <laughs> All right. All right. So I know you got to get to it, and I want you to definitely include treating Thailand because he did a whole heck of a lot for you today. You did a lot. Um, 15 minutes of meditation. All right. Your coach is telling you to do that right now. 15 minutes of meditation and 15 minutes of reflection. Never do more than that because what happens is. You stress your human out. He's under enough. We don't need him stressed out. We need him to just be okay with stepping into this whole new experience openly. So no more than 15 minutes. Let him tell you what he's feeling. If you need to meditate in the shower, meditate in the shower. If you need to reflect in the shower, do that. If you need to do it while you're working out, do that. Meditation is simply focusing on your breath and allowing Thailand to realize he doesn't have to know everything, doesn't have to feel the pressure 24-7. He gets to fall back, unzip, and I want you to see his eyes. His eyes really look like those cross eyes on a character, on a cartoon character when they just totally check out. His eyes <laughs> his eyes need to look like that more often. <laughs> so he just knows that I got to deal with this. I don't have to even be right now. All I got to do is just check out and veg. And I'm good because Ty, the soul within me, has got this. This is his arena. Arena. This ain't my thing. And so that that best friendship is going to strengthen, and that's what's going to help you uh, deal with the fear-based energy and do the work that we call shadow work, and get through and be successful in your life. I appreciate you, Pastor. You're so welcome. And maybe again in the future. I one of your uh, your uh, tarot readings for, for Sagittarius for me. Okay. And I can, I, you know, more than willing to, you know, pay you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, and with that being said, too, I mean, you know, you just got tremendously blessed. How long have you been working at that place? I've been here uh, since May of last year. Yep, that's no surprise. March of last year. No surprise. Uh, the energy for you, honey, you know you're tremendously blessed. You're just born that way. And receive it. Um, when you take a step forward, there's a golden opportunity in front of you. So know that uh, your tests are quite different. Um, from anybody else's with Sagittarius energy because uh, you really do have Zeus. Zeus is, is Jupiter to me, that type of energy. And that energy is uh, blessed. It is highly favored. It is fortunate. But it allows you that willingness to open the door and just go in. And uh, some energies don't have that. They cower to it. But what I noticed was uh, last month was very scary for Sagittarius. And that there was that door that you just couldn't open and some just didn't want to even touch the doorknob. And so I uh, just know that when that happens, it's because there's success on the other side so big, so great that you feel it like this insurmountable mountain. But once you open that door, you realize, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I deserve. 
And then you're going to have that, do I deserve this? You absolutely do. So just know that it's coming. It's, it's, it's definitely there. All right, dear love. You're so welcome. All right, so thank you for giving me your permission to share this and to help other people learn about their, their Saturn return, learn more about psychic attacks, spiritual warfare, and the techniques that we teach um, at Spiritual Guidance Academy. So I'm here for you. Thank you for your time.